double stack. It's on the far track. One of those was an ST70 M-2. The, the second locomotive, the first one looked like a, a C44. Now these are auto rack cars. And this is Notre Dame Street. At around 6.25 p.m. on the 9th of October, 2023. Right before I'm gonna go get my metro to get my bus. So this will be the last train of the evening. But there could be a train coming the other way because it's on the other track. The, the track in front is empty. And I kind of hope there will be a second train. That would be cool. Well, some of these uh, auto racks do seem to have some decent art on them. I hesitate to call it art in most cases. But I do like it when they when they do a full car. And they take a, an entire car and paint it up. But it has to be interesting. Letters don't really do it for me. And I'll be honest, I really hate it when a tagger destroys some kind of beautiful artwork. Like just, uh, for example, in St. Henri, walking around, I saw, I saw a, a building that had this kind of cool, you know, woman with hair streaming in the wind or something. And some idiot put his big stupid tag on top of it to ruin it. I, I really wish... CN or the city of Montreal would actually remove this garbage on the bridge here especially uh, looks like there's uh, more coming a lot of um, flat cars there you can't see them these are center beam cars And what's cool with this location, you can actually see some cars coming through the bridge too. A lot of squealing on this bridge. She's a squealer.
And I think there might be a DPU somewhere in this train actually too. It's a pretty long one. He's so far. That might be the end, eh? Yeah, it sounds like it's the end. So if you like what I do, please subscribe to Cool Trains in Montreal. Have a good day.